Hello dear viewers. In this video I will extract gold from rock. About 300 kilograms of rock. This interesting stone contains gold, now I will crush it and extract the precious metal. I collected this stone near a remote river, where there are mountain ranges, and there I noticed that the stones are not simple enough. For example, they have characteristic signs of copper and strong oxidation of iron oxide 3. These are good signs to look for gold, and since I already know that these stones contain gold, the question is how much is there for 200 to 300 kilograms. I also want to say that these stones break relatively easily, and some crumble in your hands due to high mineralization. crushed the rock. This time I didn't grind the ore in a ball mill, I decided to test how much gold I could get from this volume. Coarse grinding, of course, for greater results it is necessary to grind in a ball mill. And one more thing. If you are interested in this video, then I want to tell you that I will definitely show you a lot more that will interest you even more. For your information, I filmed this video several years ago, and at that time I was just testing a centrifugal concentrator, so dear friends, now the first releases will not be complete. And now of course the most interesting part. I will extract gold particles using a centrifuge. This allows me to achieve the maximum result, okay. If you are interested in real gold, then you should know that this device is a centrifugal concentrator, it concentrates gold tens of times better than any other method known to you. But concentrators are also different, I designed this one myself, and it can catch gold particles so small. So you can imagine, like cement powder, and even smaller. All this thanks to the centrifugal force, the weight of gold particles becomes heavier by tens and even hundreds of times. Another huge advantage is that you can quickly and a lot of crushed ore, without worrying about gold loss. I wash about 100 kilograms, and as a result I extract this concentrate, from which I then extract gold in different ways. But this is not the end, many different stages of processing are required to finally get that gold. There is very little gold. 10 to 15% is visible to the eye, the rest of the gold is in the form of dust, complex manipulations are required for complete extraction. I will definitely show this, but not today. I do not have free time to shoot a video, and at this moment, if you are watching, I am working on this issue. It's simple, I need a normal workshop with different equipment, this is what I am doing now, so that I can later show you how difficult it is to extract at least one gram of gold. 
This concentrate contains 3 kilograms of concentrate in gold, it turns out to get approximately 1 to 2 grams of gold from each wash, not a drop can be lost. The heavy fraction is mainly magnetite and iron, and it will not be possible to simply process the entire concentrate with chemicals, this will require a lot of acids, chlorine will not help, and even alkaline solutions will not be able to achieve a good result 100%. Here is a pile that I have already washed with a centrifuge. 200 kilograms of rock turned into sand and dust, and I extracted two batches of concentrate. There is still rock left, and then I will extract gold from the concentrate using flotation and other equipment, I will show you later. Look at it to understand how much work was done for 5 or 6 grams of precious metal. Here is my new stone crusher, I plan to use it in the future. With its help you can turn tons of stone into dust, and this thing is very heavy, you need a crane to move it. Here you will see and learn a lot of new things, because such production requires various complex equipment. Dear viewers, this is the end of the video. On my desktop are interesting samples of gold-bearing ores and a glass with unrefined gold sediment. I extracted this gold sediment from the concentrate after the centrifuge. Note that gold is not yellow, as many people think. This is its natural color. If the gold is finely dispersed, it is more brown. And in the bottle are silver chloride, white cheesy sediment and copper nitrate, since I boiled the gold sediment in nitric acid. On the table you see samples of stone, I put them there for a reason. There are different types of ores, magnetite, iron, sulfate, oxide. The gold content can also be different, but one thing is constant, the accompanying content of copper and silver in natural gold. Until next time, gentlemen. As soon as I have some free time, I will shoot more detailed videos, and that's it.